It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Mindset, blessed love, honorable, do give thanks and praise for life, health and strength. One more day above ground, and I want to greet you in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Il Selassie the first. Empress Men in the first, warm welcome beautiful viewers and subscribers. Yeah man, life is our ultimate position, no matter what I go on. All right. So, you know, Jamaica have a long history. Zin, a long colonial history. And part of that colonial history there is where I and I people take side after defeating the colonial the colonial ruling in a Jamaica, then, and sign a treaty with the colonial power. Now, the Maroons, as we know, the history go in a Jamaica, then, with the Maroons, the Maroons um, sign a treaty that allow them to catch black man, African woman who was fleeing from bondage and lynching and slavery. And their job was to catch them and bring them back to the slave owner. Zin? And them get paid for do that. And for years, they have been set aside as a group of people that is different from the rest of people in Jamaica. Simply because of that fact, the treaty that was signed. Zin? Yeah. Now, For years, one has played down the old thing like nothing really happened and, you know what I mean, we didn't do anything. When clearly, we did do something to ourselves, to our brothers and sisters, because not everyone was in agreement with the treaty, not every maroon was in agreement with that treaty. It was some. See? It was some. Now we have an article here um, where the maroons are apologizing for what had happened seen during that passage of time and it's a article from the observer zin and we want to read it yeah so two more of the well-known black rebellion put down by the british colonial forces with the solid support of the Maroon, where that led by the West African chief, Taki of St. Mary, in, nine, in 1760, and Baptist Deacon Paul Bogle of Stonegut, Stonegut St. Thomas in 
1865, Bogle and his key allied, George William Garden, was hanged, but later named National Hero of Jamaica. And just two Fridays ago, April 8, was officially declared Chief Taki Day, henceforth to celebrate the freedom fighter credited with his first slave uprising in the Caribbean. We regret the hurt and suffering caused from such action. We take total responsibility on behalf of our ancestors, said the paramount chieftainess and queen of the Maroon, Gagma, Gagama Gloria Mama G. Sims, the woman now occupying the seat once held by Queen Nanny of the Maroon. The only female among seven national heroes. We realize that we cannot undo the past, but we can remedy the situation through reconciliatory action that will repair the damage and rebuild the trust that these behavior will not be repeated said the maroon spiritual leader in a press statement. The maroon queen, a, 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 a tireless campaigner for the right of indigenous people, used the platform of the Jamaica Observer to express the long-awaiting Malpa, Malpa Day before she journeyed to the United Nations to represent the diaspora and Jamaica indigenous people, Maroon and other Africans retention community and the Taino tribes. At the Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, founder of the Maroon Indigenous Woman Circle, she will be part of the delegation which include representatives from Trinidad and Tobago, Belize, Dominica, Suriname, Sierra Leone, and Jamaica, made up of professors, human rights, lawyers, and academic from international universities. The achieve of the National Library of Jamaica described the Maroon as enslaved African people of African descent who run away from their master or owner in such of freedom, dating back to 1655. At that time, the Tainas and Africans who freed by the Spanish occupiers took to remote part of the islands for refuge from the English invaders of that year to establish their own settlement. They become a formidable force that significantly challenged the system of, enslave, of enslavement imposed by the English. But recognizing that the Maroon were a thorn in the flesh that defy their superior forces, the British, the British offered them a treaty which, with a certain amount of autumnal but commonly include agreement to help the British force to take down slave uprising and return SKP slave to the plantation. But neither the British nor the Maroon had said sorry for their action against the slaves until now, the timing of Queen Gloria had felt apology on behalf of the Maroon appear to be promoted by the declaration of the Chief Taki Day in a commemoration signed by the Governor General at the BS, BS of Culture Minister Oliver Bobsey Green. A Jamaican group led by Derek Prince Black X Robinson that has now gone internationally has been advocating that the Chief Taki be made a national hero 
and the commemoration is being re re regarded as a step near to ultim ultimate Jamaica Anna. The Maroon Paramount Chief Chiefnet who said we must continue to honor the sacrifice and bereave of those who fought, embrace the Taki Day declaration as truly befitting in this time. It is time for us to bring the spirit of Sankofa to bear, to go back and fetch what is left behind to restore it. It is time to repair and heal. Therefore, as spiritual leader of the Maroons, I declare April 8th annually as National Reconciliation and Truth Day in recognition of all atrocities done in history that involve Maroon and, and as our elders would say, when trouble take you, picnic shot fit you. Exactly 262 years ago, this month, Chief Taki began his short lived rebellion in St. Mary that was brutally put down by the British with the support of the Maroons, but not before Cap um, Capalip, um, collaborating him into history of those who fought to make Jamaica independent and inspiring the Asian revolution that gave the world its first black republic. And Easter Monday, April 7, 1760, Chief Taki and his followers launched a force, a fierce but bloody uprising that claimed the life of white masters with white masters and overseers and um, frontiers, plantation and columnated in columnated in the capture of Port Maria, the parish capital from the British colonial forces. Ironically, the rebel the rebels were inspired by the four, the first Maroon War that also occurred in Jamaica from 1728 to 1740, led by Queen Nanny of the Maroon. However, the success of the Maroon War and signing of their peace treaty with the British eventually helped bring about the downfall of Taki Rebellion. In her statement and to the Sunday Observer, the Maroon Queen appeared to suggest that the British should also be held accountable, arguing that in their struggle for peaceful freedom, the Maroon signed an agreement with the British to suppress rebellion and return escape from slavery, among other terms set out in the Treaty of 1939. This aspect of our history have left behind lingering wounds that must be addressed through a truth and reconciliation process. This Chief Taki Day declaration come from the Governor General who rules is to represent the same ruling power that wrote the Maroon Treaty with clause that demand them to suppress rebellion and capture the SKP enslaved. This was a conflict of interest and remain a hurtful scar on our history. Let us as re re rebelliators and freedom fighters take responsibility for what our ancestors have done. Let us move to heal the rift gagma Sims argue. She said that the uh, she said that in observing the history of the past, it was also important to recognize the present state of crime and violence in Jamaica, in the home schools community, as well as the violence being done to 
to the status of Maroon in Jamaica today, using this historical memory to set example that will benefit all. The impact and result after many years of war have always left destruction, suffering, desolation, isolation, war and conflict leave diverse cars, spiritual, phys spiritual phys physiological and physical scars are the primary damage from wars. And these scars affect and touch every living thing in the environment, either directly or indirectly. Honor and recognition are embellemic of courage and bravery. We must continue to honor the sacrifice and bravery of those who fought. She said the maroon divided into two grouping, the windward and leeward maroon. Maintain vibrant communities such as Trelawney Town in St. James, a compound town in St. Elizabeth, Maroon Town and Charlestown in Portland, Nanny Town in St. St. Thomas and Scots Hall in St. Mary. A compound town, Mar a punk, a punk kong, a punk tongue maroon led by the controversial Chief Curry have been plagued with leadership conflict starting last year. And that is the end of the article. I don't know why it ended right there. So with, with um, Chief Curry. Uh, it, uh, yeah, but at least... Um, the Honorable Queen um, take it upon herself and see the need to apologize for you know what has what has gone on, and she saw that um, it wasn't right, and because there were certain clauses in 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 the treaty and agreement that them signed, you know, I mean that was. Um, uh, a conflict of interest, you understand? Because they were f they were fleeing and for freedom, fighting for freedom, while at the same time the British were telling them that they have to capture, um, SKP and slave and send them back to the plantation. You know what I mean? Which you know it 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 looked hypocritical, and as she said, it was a conflict of interest because. You know, come on, you're fighting for the same very thing that these um, other brothers and sisters are fighting for. You know, so it's overstanding we use to praise God. You know what I mean? So, you know, a, a, an apology, of course. And when she said why, also the British need to apologize. You know what I mean? Yes. And not only does apologize, you know what I mean? Because they were willing to pay the maroon amount of money Zin, for capture back the escape. So now, like all you did willing for pay them, you are for willing for pay. We know who have gone through that. You have to reimburse us. Yeah, man. Reality, man. You have to reimburse us, man. No matter what I go on. No matter what I go on, man. Because you did pay them for capture we said we. See? You did pay them for capture we said we. So no nothing if you pay we for the labor where we did put out where you never pay for. Yeah. Where you never pay for. You see me? Yeah, man, because whole part agreement and signing and thing you do, you know. Right? Yeah, whole part them thing there. So, just give you what is due. You know what I mean? Give you what is due. If it's apology, you want to apologize, you apologize. But give you what is due. Mindset family, let me know how the item um, see this thing. You know what I mean? Um, I think is a great move in the right direction. 
you know what I mean, to reconcile, you know what I mean, and to bring that cohesion amongst ourselves because at the same time we are one people and we have one aim, one God, and one destiny. Holy Emmanuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Bless and sanctify and talk to me in the comment section. Mindset, Rastafari. Subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just got the mindset. See you on the next video. I just got the mindset.